Welcome to the Simo University podcast, where science improves your decisions, guides you towards achieving financial freedom, and opens doors to a better life. I'm Landry Simo. I'm a professor in the UK and expert in neuroeconomics and decision neuroscience. Today, I will share a personal challenge that will change your approach to learning. Mastering three languages in just 150 hours. If you know a bit about me, you might know that I already speak 10 languages fluently, with the latest being Spanish, which I mastered in only three months. Now, using the latest advancements in neuroscience, I've refined the protocol I used to study Spanish and decided to tackle an even bigger challenge. Mastering Portuguese, Italian and German, starting from scratch. In just 150 hours, my goal is to hold fluid conversations with native speakers in each language. I will show you exactly how I plan to do it and how these uh, science-backed techniques can apply to any skill you want to acquire, to any aspect of your life you want to improve. Let's imagine this. You are waking up one morning, checking your phone and all the notifications, messages and apps and in a language you had no craps of before. Yet uh, now everything seems familiar. Words start coming to you naturally and you don't need to translate anymore. Today I will explain how that's possible with a program that goes beyond traditional methods, letting you acquire a language as children do, naturally, without memorizing a list of repetitive exercises in words. Uh, standard learning methods often rely on memorization, but they can hold us back. Our brains are designed for natural, effortless language acquisition. So let's use that. Imagine learning languages like a child learns their native tongue unconsciously. In this episode, I will reveal the techniques I used to learn Spanish in record time and how I will apply them to master three more languages in 150 hours. By the end, you won't see language learning the same way. I'm sure about that. So uh, let's get started. Why do adults find language learning hard? while children pick it up effortlessly. This insight led me to uh, Krashen's hypothesis, which shows that the best way to learn a language isn't through conscious study, but through subconscious acquisition. By immersing ourselves in the language, our brain processes it naturally, without force or any kind of effort. This is crucial. Imagine if you could reprogram your brain to absorb languages naturally, without studying. Imagine every time you look at your phone or computer, you are immersed in the language you want to learn. Imagine, this method isn't just about learning words or grammar, it's about transforming how you experience the learning or the language learning process. One of the most powerful techniques I use is what I call immersive reprogramming. I configure all my devices, my phones, my computers, and even the news I watch in the languages I'm learning. For example, my main phone is set to German as it's the most challenging. My other devices are in Italian and Portuguese. Every time I open an app or read an email, I'm unconsciously exposed to the language I'm targeting to learn, to acquire. This constant exposure helps your brain adapt quickly. Before you know it, you are recognizing words, phrases, and understanding without conscious efforts, like living in a foreign country without even leaving your home. So the more your brain is bombarded by these languages, the faster it learns, the faster you acquire those languages. So now imagine, that in just 150 hours, you could achieve the same. You wouldn't even need to live abroad or spend hours studying. Just reprogram your digital environment and let your brain do the rest for you. Now, you may wonder, what about grammar rules or complex vocabulary? 
Neuroplasticity makes this possible. Your brain rewires itself with every new stimulus, and that capacity strengthens with uh, exposure. Every interaction, every word, every phrase forms new neural connections. Over time, these connections strengthen, and you, you start thinking in your target language. You start dreaming in your target language. Let's go deeper with another powerful technique, which is a spaced repetition. Our brains are built to forget, but we can turn that weakness into a strength. Imagine you learn a new word today, and if you don't review it, you will likely forget it soon. But reviewing it at specific intervals strengthens the connection and makes it long-lasting, which is key for learning. The hippocampus, a part of the brain responsible for memory storage and retrieval, activates and reinforces each time you review. The more you review, the stronger that neural path becomes, until those words are unforgettable. So these techniques minimize study time while maximizing retention, making your brain work efficiently for you, without you needing to do any kind of big or huge effort. Now, let's talk about input flooding. This method overloads your brain with your target language through real-life contents. You immerse yourself in conversations, phrases, and structures, even if you don't understand everything at first. This exposure forces your brain to adapt. Over time, it starts recognizing patterns, familiar sounds, and grammatical structures. Eventually, you will understand entire conversations simply because your brain has adjusted to the influx of new stimuli. This is crucial to understand. Combined with immersive reprogramming, I make sure that whenever I read news, browse social media, or even check notifications, they are in the language I'm learning. This floods my brain with my target language constantly, creating a mental environment where my brain has no choice but to adapt. Before you know it, you'll start understanding and speaking without conscious effort. I promise this is true. Uh, a third core technique I rely on is mental immersion through visualization. The studies show that our brains can't easily distinguish between what we imagine and what we experience in reality. So visualization is commonly used by athletes to mentally train improving their performance by creating uh, the experiences in their minds. In language learning, it's equally powerful. I imagine conversations, places, scenarios where I'm interacting with people in my target language. My brain reacts as if I'm there, building the same neural pathways, the same neural connections as it would in a real setting. So for example, I might visualize ordering food at a cafe in Lisbon or asking directions in Berlin by imagining the sounds, the responses, and the words I will use. I activate the part of my brain needed for fluency. When you visualize yourself speaking confidently and fluently, your brain prepares for the real experience. This trick is like living in a foreign country without leaving home, training your brain to feel comfortable and capable in the foreign language. This is crucial. Next, I use interleaving, switching between my target languages during practice sessions. So rather than focusing on just uh, one language at a time, I constantly and consciously rotate among Portuguese, Italian, and German. This technique requires mental flexibility, making my brain adjust quickly to different linguistic structures and vocabulary. So interleaving also keeps my brain or my mind sharp as I'm forced to stay engaged and adapt. In practical terms, it looks like I might listen to a podcast in Portuguese, then read an article in German, and later review vocabulary in Italian. Each time I switch languages, my brain works harder to keep track, strengthening my recall and then adaptability. Interleaving prevents my brain from getting too comfortable with one language. Instead, training it to handle different languages fluently 
This is a very powerful technique. Another technique that has proven powerful is chunking, where I focus on phrases or small chunks of languages instead of isolated words. Think of how we communicate in phrases, like, how are you, nice to meet you, rather than constructing sentences by words. By learning and repeating chunks, I'm training my brain to understand and produce language naturally, just like a native speaker. This is also a crucial technique. This method is not just faster, but also more efficient. Instead of thinking in individual words, I think in expressions and structures that are, let's say, automatically understood and ready for use. So my brain, therefore, doesn't have to build sentences. It records and delivers them in a fluid way, matching the natural rhythm of the language I'm targeting, I'm trying to speak. So each chunk becomes a building block for more complex sentences, helping me reach fluency faster. Now, let's talk about speaking before you're ready. Many people hesitate to start speaking a new language, fearing mistakes. But putting yourself in a situation where you have to use the language, even if you're not fully prepared, forces your brain to work in survival mode. This early practice activates the broker's area, the part of your brain responsible for producing speech, and it quickly adapts to make communication smoother and less stressful over time. So when I practice speaking right from the start, I push my brain to process the, lang the language actively, not just passively. This also improves my confidence because I become comfortable making mistakes and then learning from them. The faster I push myself to speak, the faster my brain organizes language structures to create coherent sentences. So this is also crucial. Then the final technique I use is called uh, shadowing. A process where I listen to native speakers and repeat immediately after them. This technique activates mirror neurons, the part of our brains that uh, fire when we observe someone performing an action, helping us mimic behavior. In language learning, shadowing allows me to pick up uh, on accent, intonation and rhythm. I'm not just repeating words, but imitating the way native speakers sound, which helps my brain learn uh, the flow and feel of the language, which is also crucial in language acquisition. Then to summarize these techniques, immersive reprogramming, space repetition, input flooding, mental visualization, interleaving, chunking, and then speaking early and shadowing. Each tap into our brain's natural learning pathways. With these methods, I'm on track to learn uh, Portuguese, Italian, and German in just 150 hours, one hour a day. Now, you might wonder, why go to this length? Because language is more than words. It's access. It's about connecting with people, understanding cultures, and then opening doors to knowledge. My challenge isn't just about fluency. It's a commitment to personal growth, and it reflects my larger mission for, you know, a better world, a better life for everyone. I'm not just learning languages for myself. My goal is to prove that anyone with the right approach and the right protocol can achieve the impossible. So imagine a world where people are fluent in multiple languages, not just for travel, but to build connection, create opportunities and then transform communities. This challenge shows that disciplined, science-based learning can reshape minds and, let's say, transform lives. If I succeed, it's not just my win. It's proof that our, our world has the potential to master any skill, conquer any field, and then refine or redefine what's possible. I invite you to join me on this journey, not just as a spectator, but as part of vision for a more empowered world. Imagine what you could achieve in 150 hours if you apply the same intensity and focus to skill uh, you are passionate about. This challenge is more than language. It's about creating a roadmap for learning that anyone can follow regardless of their location, regardless of their uh, resources or background. So let's break the limit of what we think is achievable. If you are inspired to follow this journey or start your own, subscribe and stay tuned.
together let's unlock new possibilities for growth for both ourselves and the entire world thank you for listening and remember your brain is far more powerful than you know knowledge is power but wisdom is knowing how to use it thank you Thank you.